गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम यूरो सैटरडे 2022 वी आर एट द इंडिया पवेलियन एंड डूइंग व्हाट वी लव टू डू द मोस्ट इंटरव्यू द इंडियन कंटिंजेंसी वी हैव विद अस टुडे द चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर फ्रॉम म्यूनिशंस इंडिया लिमिटेड फॉर द अनइनिशिएटेड दिस इज द ओल्ड ओएफबी व्हिच वी रियली ऑल ऑफ अस लव्ड and i'm sure the story will continue we'll keep continuing loving the uh, offshoots which have come and with us here we have mr ravi kant who is the cmd so welcome to adu's chat room and so wonderful to interview you thank this, you very much ma'am this is the first time for uh, adu that we are interviewing a non ofb cmd and uh, well is it a new wine in the old bottle sir uh, thank you ma'am uh, let me tell you uh, I, i will not say that uh, it's a new wine in the old better bottle uh, basically uh, government thought that ordnance factory board which was uh, manufacturing various kinds of items which are required for the armed forces should have more focus for uh, uh, you know and accordingly they decided that should be converted into seven companies which will be product specific and munitions india limited has been given the responsibility of uh, uh, the ammunition and explosive production in the country uh, here i would like to mention that in earlier system when it was ordnance factory board it was a government department now it is a public sector undertaking which is 100% owned by the government but the flexibility of public sector in operation has been given to the company earlier there were certain restrictions being a part of the government so we were not able to do lots of things those uh, that aggressively which now we are able to do so i will say that uh, there would be lot of changes in the way we have been working so far and uh, uh, we would be able to adapt ourselves to the requirement of market and requirement of the armed forces and said so that we are meeting at euro saturday and uh, you have your full strength here so does that mean that we have a huge market with it already very advanced europe yes the kind of uh, ammunition which we are making those ammunition there is a demand we are going for new kind of ammunition for example uh, as far as uh, pinaka rocket is concerned along with drdo we have developed the advanced versions of it earlier ammunition for that also there is a market even beyond india so we are trying to explore that market and uh, would be supplying the items though uh, the, there are companies in europe who are manufacturing all this but still there is a the market is quite big and the product which we are making those products will definitely find find the uh, requirement in the uh, various armed forces here i so say you've been here for the last 4 days what has the footfall been like it has been wonderful it has been wonderful a lot of people have come lot of inquiries have been there and uh, for ammunition uh, today because of geopolitical situation in the world there is a demand of various kinds of ammunition and uh, i'm sure that uh, we will be having a very good uh, you know uh, the the outcome of this uh, exhibition for as far as mil is concerned and so just for our information that uh, you know you have we have europe but in addition to europe we also have very big contingents uh, delegations of countries outside european continent so we have america of course uh, is there but then we have south america we've got africa we've got middle east we've got southeast asia so uh, where does munitions india stand as far as these continents are concerned uh, we have been uh, we have a lot of interaction during these uh, last uh, you know two three days uh, here in euro century and uh, i could see that from these countries the delegations which have come they have a lot of demand lot of requirement and the requirement uh, is not only for the indian armed uh, sorry uh, not for the armed forces alone it is there for the various companies also which are manufacturing ammunition and explosives in these areas so there also they need certain product support from us so uh, since uh, uh, we are now a company earlier the, the target was the aim was that we would be supplying the final ammunition now if there is a requirement for product support maybe explosive only maybe the propellants maybe the fuses so we are going to meet that kind of demand also and i have seen that in these countries 
uh, apart from the armed forces, we have the demand from various manufacturing units of these countries. Also, sir, there's a very major market which uh, I think needs to be tapped which will be the homeland security market. So the various polices, the counter-terrorist forces and all. So uh, have you been in touch with them, sir? Yes, we are We are in discussion with them also. And certain kind of uh, ammunition which is required specifically to meet uh, these kind of contingencies, not there at the border, but within the uh, within a country. So for that also we are, we are working and small arms ammunition is one area where they need it. Then the grenades, uh, 40 millimeter, then the uh, grenades, uh, which we are, the, the hand grenade which have been produced earlier. Now the advanced version of that with the multi-mode grenade that uh, Ordnance Factories, uh, that is the now MIL, has developed it recently and we are supplying to our armed forces and there is a demand and inquiries from other countries also for that. And this largely would be required by the homeland security. Small arms ammunition, as I told you, is that. And sir, uh, because uh, you are here as a CMD Munitions India Limited. The baby is just born and we'd like to ask you two things, sir. What is a short-term plan you have, let's say around five years? And what is a long-term plan you have for the company? See, the short-term plan is uh, uh, immediately I am looking for uh, supply, uh, look, looking for expanding the market with the existing products first. The existing products so far, we have been supplying mostly to Indian Armed Forces. Now, during last eight months, we were born practically in, on 1st of October. So, during last uh, eight months, we have backed orders worth, uh, uh, if I talk in Indian rupees, it is 620 crores. These are the orders we have already backed uh, against the export requirement. So, now some more inquiries are there, and I'm sure those also would be uh, converted into the orders. So, this is my immediate uh, target. To, to expand my order book and next two years time reaching a one billion dollar company. This is my immediate uh, target. Si simultaneously I am working for development of new products for which the technology we are taking from, uh, uh, from academic institutions in the country. We are tying up with IITs, we are trying, tying up with uh, the National Institute of Technologies in the country. And apart from that, the countries, the companies which are abroad, with them also we are going to have a tie-up because there is no point in doing the uh, reinventing the wheel for everything. So for that also, these are the new products which we would be developing. And uh, uh, as you know, the defense product, uh, it takes time for development. So in the long run, those products will be in our uh, kitty. For this, uh, certain modernization also would be required for the company for which when the, uh, when the corporation was made, when the company was uh, created by the government, they told that they would be doing the hand-holding as far as finances are concerned. And for next five years, they have, uh, they have assured us that whatever money is required for the modernization would be given. During last, last year itself, we have got more than uh, 600 crores from them. During this year, we are expecting about 800, 800 crore rupees that would be coming from them. So, uh, uh, so the uh, the modernization also we would be going ahead with because this will be required for development of new products. So, once these everything are in place, we will be able to develop the new products and those would be available for uh, in our kitty maybe five years down the line. Right, sir. That was wonderful. Thank you very much, sir. And we really wish you all the best. We wish Munitions India Limited all the best for a very bright future. Thank you Thank very you much. Very much. Thank you. Thank you.